Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. This week, I'm gonna be getting my closet professionally organized. That's right, we're gonna Marie Kondo this biatch. So as you guys may know, a few months ago, I had a crew of professional organizers from Practically Perfect LA help me declutter and reorganize my makeup collection, which was previously haphazardly stored in giant plastic bins. I'm like that Michael Scott gif, it's happening! <laughs> it's happening! And since then, I have been thoroughly enjoying my new vanity and la gasp, actually maintaining the organizational system that they helped me build. Well, I did add an entire new cabinet for more lipsticks, but that's not against the rules. As long as it's labeled, it's fine, right? Regardless, I decided it would be fun and also actually very useful to have the professional organizers help me tackle other areas of my house, and let's be real, life, that need a little TLC. So this week, we're gonna be taking my clothes head on. It's gonna be a lot of black shirts. Now, the total number of clothes that exist in our house is substantial, but it is split into two categories. Personal clothes and clothes we get for videos, or like prop clothes. And to be fair to myself, I have kept my prop clothing pretty well organized. I have a bunch on display downstairs in this big room that I eventually want to be able to film in and maybe Instagram more. And all of my other video clothes are filed away in wardrobes in our garage, sorted by production. All of our shoes are are also on racks down here. My personal clothing, however, is not quite as nicely kept and cared for, and is sort of just squished into every possible orifice upstairs in our bedroom. Cabinets, armoires, drawers, closets, hanging, any way you can imagine. We've got clothes there. So for this organizational session, I think we're gonna be focusing on personal clothes because those need the most help. I would say we're surviving, we're not thriving. We're survival swimming through piles of laundry. Now my wardrobe has sort of slowly grown into the black hole that it is today over the last five years. I moved down to LA after college with a fair amount of clothing and I have acquired a lot more since then. Simultaneously, I have pretty much got rid of none of it along the way. So if my closet were an infographic, it would be like a barnacle, growing slowly but steadily, and it's time to start scraping some off. Now for this video, I think we are going to tackle Tyler's closet as well, because it's also up here in the bedroom, and I feel like if we want to optimize the room and its overall system, we have to do his stuff too. He has fewer clothes than I do, but still a lot of stragglers that he hasn't worn in years, which are headlined by his collection of ancient gym shorts. Yeah, these ones are actually from fourth grade. <laughs> to be fair, he does actually wear those. Now, just so you guys can understand what we're working with, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our room, starting with my main closet, which is this way through our bathroom. Okay. Is this like Vogue 73 questions, but Jake here? <laughs> in here, I have a lot of hanging clothes, like tops, dresses, a few skirts and pants, and my small amount of non-black clothes. It seems like it's just a meme, but in reality, you just don't have a lot of colorful clothing. No, the meme has become my reality. Yeah. I live in a meme. Now, I have attempted some systems in this closet, but there's just too many items squished in here for me to actually see my options. This isn't really like a reach and grab and go type closet. No. This is a lock yourself inside and descend into the madness closet. I've heard that the entrance to Narnia is back here. Oh yeah, no, I tried to find it. <laughs> there are also a couple of random straggler items in here, like some of my jewelry and an empty basket. This big thing here is our like toiletry and bathroom storage area. We don't have a lot of like drawer space or cabinets in our actual bathroom. So this ended up in here. I feel like it's pretty normal. Don't look in there. I'm not looking in there but it's pretty normal, I swear. So back in our actual bedroom, we do have these like large mirrored units that were actually left by the previous tenant, but instead of trying to move them, we just decided to usurp them. They look unbelievably heavy. So in this one is mostly my clothes. Actually, I think all of these things have my clothes in them. I've never opened them before, so <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm. I will say that one thing that hinders my organization is that a lot of our storage pieces were not purposefully acquired to fit our clothes or this 
this room. Like this dresser Tyler bought when he moved down to LA like seven years ago and we still just have. And once again, these things were just here when we got here, which is cool because free stuff. But at the same time, the insides are arranged for someone else's wardrobe. So I'm really just putting my six belts in a giant drawer because I can't use this drawer for anything else. This one over here is also filled with my stuff. There's like a large amount of blank space on top. I basically have nothing hanging up there. I just didn't know what should go there. So clearly these things are not really optimized for us, but I'm not sure what we should do about it. The last of my clothes are in this chest of drawers over here in which I've got mostly bottoms like tights, underwear, shorts, and a lot of yoga pants. I'm actually okay with this unit, except for the fact that I have an entire drawer of second string yoga pants that I don't like that much. So it's a pretty obvious candidate for stuff that needs to be decluttered. Now, as for Tyler's stuff, it pretty much exists in this closet and this chest of drawers, which has the majority of his non-hanging clothes, like his boxers and socks, including socks that Tyler has stolen from me. I don't like rolling my socks and you have rolled socks. No, you just take all my socks. And the thing about his dresser is a lot of his drawers are so full, it's hard to open them, which kind of makes him not use his dresser anymore. Like I can barely open this drawer. Yeah, you definitely can't close it cleanly. Now over in Tyler's closet, he has some stuff strewn about up top. And then up here, we've got a fair amount of things hanging that like Tyler does wear, like hoodies or like zip ups. But there are also a fair amount of shirts that are hanging up here that Tyler definitely doesn't wear ever. I've never seen you wear some of this stuff. So I think basically everything on this side of the door should probably get donated. So besides that, the only other place that clothes go are the hampers. Now I am a hamper fiend. Like I have a lot of hampers around me at all times. So I think right now I have two over here for Tyler's clothes and I have five over there for my clothes. What is that system? Don't even ask. Besides all that, I would say that our room is like pretty sparse right now in yeah. terms of decoration. So like maybe even though it's not exactly part of the whole like professional organization of the closets deal, we might go out and see what kind of decor we can get to kind of jazz up the place. So now that we've all seen our situation, we had to show our professional organizers the situation. Okay, so Joni and Kit and Devin from Practically Perfect are back at it again for the closets. <laughs> and the first step of our organization journey was to have them come in and try to formulate a game plan. Well, why don't you show us all of where all the clothes are? Well, you, you surprised me because I thought this is where your clothes were, but you're telling me there's another there's hidden a, closet another that closet. we, okay. Maybe there's let's another start closet. there. This is just the earthquake hazard. Now, Joni and Kit and their team at Practically Perfect organize all different types of spaces, but with the many, many closets they've done, besides the decluttering, they seem to really zero in on uniform folding and storage solutions like drawer dividers, baskets, and labels. If there's anything I learned from last time, it's that they love a good label. And their goal seems to be to get your drawers and closets streamlined and looking good. That's that good drawer porn right there. Oh yeah. So while they were looking around, in addition to some of the obvious problems like the clutter, Joni and Kit were also concerned with the flow of the room. Logistically, you're getting dressed in the morning, you jump out of the shower, you're coming out here, yeah. getting your bra, underwear, walking back into the closet. Yes. So it's a lot of back and forth. Yeah, I'm just wandering around naked a lot. <laughs> and also Tyler's dresser. Is this an everyday access for you, Tyler? Um, not always, because I can't always open the drawers. Okay. Uh -huh. They get stuck. So with everything surveyed, they gave us our diagnosis. Well, I think the game plan is to start helping you edit, yeah. both of you. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. working with the pieces that you have and then seeing how we need to fill in the gaps to make it super functional and organized and easy for you guys to maintain. With the plan being that we would allocate two days for this project, with day one being devoted to scaling back our total items and day two being all about that drawer porn. All right, so we have the team assembled and we are here for closet organization day one. Yeah. So right. what do we do first? We're gonna start in the main closet, in your closet. The uh -huh. main closet. <laughs> Just kidding. In your closet. The only closet. Roasted. <laughs> and basically the idea was to grab individual sections of clothes, hang them on this rack they had brought with them so we could see them and then edit them back. Well, it's clear to us that there's more tops than anything else. So there's mm. that's gonna take a long time and I would say that might get tiring. Yes. So I would say let's tackle it. With crop tops being the first subcategory to address. So ideally you're gonna say keep or donate, but there might be some questionable ones that we can put off to the side. We also had a 
relocate category. As in the clothes belong somewhere else, like amongst our video props or in a different section like workout stuff. So with that in mind, we dove right in. Oh, this is a cute top. I like like this conveyor belt. I'm like, oh, let me <laughs> receive it. <laughs> this is a top that I actually haven't worn in a while because of the way it's cut. I always get nervous about like, what's this? My little chicken side wings? Boob. Yeah, like the side <laughs> boob. I think something I had to come to terms with early on was that even if I liked something about a piece of clothing, if I didn't feel good wearing it, I probably wouldn't ever wear it. This sounds like maybe we should donate that. All right. Yeah. Other things that ended up being donated were tops that had just fallen out of the rotation. I haven't worn this in a while. I feel like this meme is kind of dead. What it feels like yesterday that we took an Instagram for that. I know. That was like four years ago. This I also feel like is a get rid of. I have not worn this since 2016. There are so many hands happening. I'm just <laughs> like, grabbing oh, things from me. I'm like, yes, take it away. As well as things that never really entered the rotation, like purchases that just didn't look how I had hoped on me. Why do you like that one, by the way? I don't know. It's something about the sleevelessness. I feel like it makes me look like a Paul brother. This shirt is a shirt that I don't wear, but I bought it to go with other things in my closet that I also don't wear. Besides the style fails, there were also a select few items that I didn't really recognize. When was the last time you wore it? I have no idea. Do you have anything that's very, very similar to that that you like more? I think we've all already seen it. <laughs> but of course, there were quite a few things that I wanted to keep. I like this shirt. That's about a standard protocol. This is know. this is a very, it's just a, it's a black tank top. Leave me alone, <laughs> leave me alone. Yes, I did keep a lot of plain black tees. Don't at me. I also kept a few shirts that I haven't worn in a while, but are kind of sentimental. The alien shirts might actually be good luck. We're gonna keep those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as well as rediscovered some hidden gems. Huzzah, it's my Benjamin Franklin shirt. I love that shirt. <laughs> Well, okay, so this was like a shirt that I bought at like the Benjamin Franklin Museum in Philadelphia. <laughs> and I like cropped it to be like, huzzah, it's a crop top. <laughs> Admittedly, I don't wear these that much, even though I do enjoy them. Why is there a bison on it? I don't know. So I transferred them to the workout pile because I'm hoping I'll wear them to the gym. And after going through a few more items, we reached the end of the crop tops. All right, I was counting and you let go of 18 crop tops. <laughs> I cropped them from the wardrobe. <laughs> There you go. See what you did there. I'm just, I need more coffee. So next up from my closet were the full length tops. This was quite a robust section of which I still wear quite a few. This is a good top. This is definitely a workout top, but I wear this a lot. You shouldn't give that away now. No. Given that it's coming back like very soon. Depending on how Game of Thrones ends, I may <laughs> donate that later. So while I did have some to give away, I kept a fair few of them. Some of which were more functional and others which were more flashy. This is a um, fun world? Born wild. Born <laughs> Tyler, where did this shirt come from? Proud to be a nerdy and a little flirty. What is that? <laughs> Wait, why would I buy this? That's like a drunken Etsy buy. I almost feel like we can't get rid of it because it's like kind of magnificent. You know what? It could probably pajamas? go with like, oh, pajamas isn't a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, it could be a pajama top. Yeah. Okay, pajamas. Besides the mysterious appearances of new tops, some very old school tops also surfaced. Ooh, this is a vintage shirt from 2009. It's made it pretty far. I feel like it should go downstairs with our like 2007 clothes. Yeah, I can see you wearing that trying to sneak into a bar in Chicago. <laughs> no comment. One bad impulse I do have is that when I find something that's old enough, I kind of want to keep it just in case we want to do a video with it in the hypothetical future. I'm like, maybe one day I will want to dress like it's 2011. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to need this that then. That is a dangerous one. Yeah. Right? But Joni and Kit let a couple slide. So after zipping through the rest of the tops, we had only a few categories of my hanging clothes left, including my colorful clothes. The funny thing is like of this pile, like most of them are white and gray. Yeah. <laughs> Most of this stuff was left over from my college days, so I haven't really like looked at any of these things in a while. So I feel like this is about to be a bloodbath. This we can give away. This we can give away. This we can give away. This is kind of a good shirt. Oh no, you gotta keep that. <laughs> <laughs> I did admittedly keep a couple of items that were just too fun to get rid of. Oh look, this is my Hocus Pocus like football t-shirt. Oh, you gotta keep that. <laughs> but most of them had to go. I feel like if I wore more color, I would wear mustard, but yeah. I don't. Hopefully it'll make someone who receives it. 
bit happy. I will not reveal what happened to this one though. Your sister gave this to me for Christmas. Can I get rid of it or will she be mad? Uh, I think she watches about 50% of our videos. I think you can flip a coin. All right, <laughs> just don't mention it after this. No, yeah. <laughs> so next up were jackets and bathing suits. This is my only blazer. We should keep this. <laughs> Most of the jackets ended up in the keep section. I just wear a lot of these jackets actually a fair amount. Although I was able to declutter a swimsuit or two. This is a swimsuit I bought in Miami because I forgot a swimsuit, but then it turns out in Miami, they don't wear swimsuits that have butts on them. After some quick hanging bottom editing, we got to the last hanging category, the dresses. That thing looks like it's ready to snap. Yeah, the rack is like really having a hard time. Has this rack ever snapped under the pressure? Not yet. Not yet. But today could be the day. <laughs> <laughs> a fair amount of these dresses were like college party dresses that I ended up giving away. That's a good buy. You have a lot of those looking things. I don't know. There was like a time where we went out and then we don't anymore. Though there were some schmancy dresses that I kept just in case. I just want to be invited somewhere that I could wear these. So these are like a, I'm waiting for the time I can wear these. <laughs> Tyler, take this girl somewhere fancy for God's sake. Stop, take this guy somewhere fancy. <laughs> Regardless, we made a pretty big dent in the dresses category. Okay, so I think that that's all the stuff on hangers. That was a lot. So what should we do next? We should go through and edit all of the items that are folded in your dressers and also in this wardrobe back here. So we dumped all of my pants and bottoms that were folded onto the bed. And as I was editing my collection, I noticed that Joni and Kit had a particular style of folding. How, what are you guys doing? What is this? What, what is this? This is this. We're doing a little folding. Specifically, they were doing the recently popular popularized file folding method, where every item is facing up when you open a drawer, kind of like the spines of books on a shelf. And basically what you would do for these pants, for example, is to fold them down the crotch, then fold the legs into thirds, and then do one last fold so the pocket is visible as the spine of your pants book. I feel that. So you're saying like, if it were this way, then we'd yes. be like, ooh, look, So pants. then you're going through your drawer and you're like, oh, this jean pocket, this is the one I want. Mm. Returning to the editing, I got rid of most of my shorts, though I did keep this winky butt one, and I also decluttered a small mountain of yoga pants, leaving me with some serious real estate. Man, are those all of my yoga pants? Yes. That is... Um, that looks like room for more to me. <laughs> I feel like we're enabling you in a way that I don't like. We finished up my round of editing by going through the underwear and the bras. I feel like bras are so unworn by me, except for like two bras. You know what yes. I mean? <laughs> That's what most people say. And with that, my side of the room was done. That's the edit. Look at the pile, Ty. So with my stuff down, it was Tyler's time to shine. Okay, so now we're gonna go through my closet and my drawer and do the same editing process that we did with Sophia's. Look at me narrating, okay. <laughs> now our method for approaching Tyler's stuff was just to take everything out of his closet and dresser and dump it on the bed, just because it wasn't really previously sorted into categories. Well, this system is not practically perfect approved, Tyler. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Tyler, you get roasted. Uh, effortlessly, yeah. I think you can just like look and roast. So we figured it might be best to just start from scratch. Now, in addition to his wardrobe just slowly growing naturally over the years, Tyler is also also self-admittedly pretty superstitious about getting rid of his clothing, which is probably why his drawers are so hard to open. A lot of good memories in here. Wow, I can tell you're gonna be a sentimental client. Once everything was laid out on the bed, it was time to start making some choices. I love this one. Sophia got this for my birthday a couple years ago. It's pretty great. It's impossible to wash, but I like it. Now, some of the stuff Tyler wanted to keep, he does wear and like. I wear this one all the time. But he did have an impulse to keep it all. We got this for Christmas in 2015, didn't we? Yeah, does it fit you? You don't have to keep it. We can keep this one. I think it's, it's not. Will you wear it? You don't really wear it. Let's say we open a microbrew in Colorado or something, oh okay? <laughs> We're gonna need this, right? I've never heard you say those words before. All right, we'll, we'll get rid of this one, yeah. No matter how long it's been since he wore it. I used to wear this all the time. I don't know. Uh, when was the last time you wore it? I, 2011. Really? I, it stopped fitting at the end of college. Joni's given the... I need your help. <laughs> I need your help, Joni. Come on. <laughs> I'm right here. It's a hard no. But with the help of Joni and Kit... Joni's giving me the hard shake on this one. I just, I don't see you in that. He was able to get through a lot of them. You think it's bad mojo if I throw it away? I've literally never seen it before. I feel like that thing helped me get like an A in a math 
test in sixth grade. I'm like, I got, I got problems. I got, You're very I'm sentimental. Really, I'm really weird about clothing. But even though Tyler was able to make a big dent in his scarcely worn shirt collection, we did keep his only vest. Oh, this is from my uh, Tyler Timberlake era. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like that when vests were really in, or like in 2013 when everyone liked mirrors. Now the real crowning glory of Tyler's closet are his antique gym shorts. These were like, I found these in the locker room of my high school. Do you just pull the drawstring? Cause the elastic is gone. I, I folded a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I'm proud of him for giving any of them away because he's been dragging most of them around for decades. Don't worry though, we did keep a couple. These are my 1997 Little League basketball shorts. I love these ones. I wear these all the time. Bradner Valley. That was the basketball league where they didn't keep score. As we wrapped up editing down Tyler's closet, our cat Krusty appeared to insert himself in the situation. He like thinks this is exciting right now. He's having a good it time. It is exciting. I think Krusty's an organizational enthusiast. He, he might be. <laughs> so with that and a little underwear editing, we were done with Tyler's clothes. Ta-da! You did it! There we go. Now, a while ago, I had mentioned that Tyler has this habit of stealing my socks, so all our socks are now mixed together. Thusly, we had waited to organize them last. What should we do? Well, tell me why they would be together. Tyler takes my socks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Part of this is because Tyler and I have similar sized feet. And I also don't like rolling my socks, but I like rolled socks. <laughs> so <laughs> Sophia just has them there. I'll just take them. Okay, well, I'm gonna mediate the situation. Does it, does it, does it bother you to share a sock? Drawer. It does not bother me actually. Okay. What bothers me is going to my sock drawer and then not having socks. <laughs> so the solution was just to have an intentionally shared sock drawer. I'm okay with that. Okay. That's very cute, you guys. I have to be honest. <laughs> you might be our first shared sock drawer client. And with an alarming amount of sock editing, sorting, and folding, all of our closet decluttering was done. All right. You have gone through everything that you own. That's awesome. It's a major All in a day, by the way, and you're still here. I was going to say you're standing, but I'm not standing. Nope. <laughs> I'm sitting. So after a long day one of editing down our closets, I was pretty proud of our giant piles and I felt like we had really cut into the clutter. But we were now faced with what to do with what we had left. Okay, so it's day two. I'm wearing the exact same thing because my clothes are everywhere. <laughs> but soon they will be organized. So today we're actually rethinking where all of your items should be stored. So we've decided what you're keeping and now we need to make a plan based on that. And we're thinking of actually re configuring these great closet systems that you have so that they work a little bit better with the items that you own. So when Joni and Kit had come by initially to survey our closet, they noticed that these giant mirrored cabinets are Ikea wardrobes. Okay. Where's this piece from? It's Ikea. And they have these slots on the sides so you can customize the drawers and shelves inside of them, either by moving them around or by buying specialized ones for your organizational pleasures. And Joni and Kit chose out a bunch of these inserts that they thought would work for us. What was that thing, the big white thing with oh, the things, let me the grab rods? It. It's, it's a pants <laughs> hanger. <laughs> now that's a storage solution, or maybe a grill. Unclear. So after rearranging the tracks and shelves inside these mirrored units, and also actually removing the door on Tyler's closet for easy access purposes, we place the drawers into their new locations per Joni and Kit's design. So this is now gonna be Tyler's entire wardrobe and your whole dressing system will be in this area together. I'm expanding. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> or is there is there a catch? I'm well, you're, you're losing that dresser over uh, there, but everything is now gonna be super functional for you over here. I've more Lateral. So with Tyler's domain prepped and ready, we took his file folded sweatpants, shorts, and undies and placed them nicely into their new homes. Yes, the drawer porn was starting to take shape. Those are some beautifully file folded underwear. Will it ever look like this again? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Other features in Tyler's new unit include one of those grill-like pants hangers on top and a bougie new hamper system at the bottom. It's like a fancy trash can. Following that, we just had to hang all of his shirts in his newly doorless closet. And to my great delight, we also got all new matching hangers, so it looks really sexy. Oh yeah, 
That's what I'm talking about. That's all my shirts? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I feel a lot of relief looking at this. I feel like your closet was so stressful before. It was stressful. I'm actually kind of realizing that now. Yeah. Yeah. It was then time to move on to my stuff. Now my domain is still the closet for my tops and dresses. My bottoms in this large cabinet, my workout gear slash athleisure in this corner cabinet, and my underwear, pajamas, and sweatpants in this chest of drawers that will also contain our communal pool of socks. So we started with the pants cabinet. Oh, it comes out. Slides out. Wow, that is more than I thought it was. Where we were able to hang all of my jeans and lay out my much decreased collection of shorts. Wow, my shorts are just, you know, they need some space. Next up, we put away all of my file folded yoga pants and sports bras and hung up all of my workout tops. It was quite the flurry of action. So I feel like you're doing a lot of stuff with your hands right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what to grab next. I'm like, should I take that to the closet? And once all the clothes were put away in their new areas, it was time for the micro-organizing, or what I would call the professional touches. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna make sure that everything is sorted by category, and then we're going to put in dividers, so that way it's easy for you to find and also put things away, and add some baskets. Just fun baskets? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Just fun, just baskets, we're just gonna put baskets, baskets in are there. always fun. We're gonna add baskets to contain some of the items that don't get hung in your closet, like your winter hats and your ski socks and things like that. And and then we're gonna leave a little bit of room for growth. So if you get more things over time, you will have a little bit of empty basket space to grow into. This was the time when the label maker was busted out. We labeled a bunch of stuff. Now to make the most out of our drawers, we added some cool slider dividers for my under things, as well as a couple mini baskets throughout for accessories. Inappropriate. <laughs> Joni and Kit had also brought some spring-loaded dividers to address our sock situation. We have like multiple drawers worth of socks yeah. right now. There are gonna be two <laughs> large drawers for socks. It's a serious sock collection. I'm so confused by that because I can never find socks. So the fact that we have so many is confounding. Like, I don't know you have done this to me. <laughs> so with the help of our dividers, some serious folding, and a little bit of last minute editing of the collection, our communal sock drawer was born. Well, there are two of them, so twins. And then finally, as a finishing touch, we filed away Tyler's orthopedic accessory collection. Okay, so Tyler actually didn't have anything in these bins because he had edited so much of his wardrobe down. Room to grow. But we did find a couple of plantar fasciitis like braces. They're foot stretchers, yeah. Foot stretchers. Uh -huh. So I decided to make one of his bins Tyler's weird foot stuff and put those up there. Nothing weird about plantar fasciitis. I guess that's true. It I hurts. Don't, <laughs> I don't mean to foot shame you. And with our weird foot stuff accounted for, organization day two was complete. All right, guys, are we done? We're done. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my word. I would say that like we took a lot of stuff out. Like look at these garbage bags. You did. You guys Amazing. You guys did a great job editing down to the things that you really know you're going to be wearing. Do you think we kept too much? I don't think so. <laughs> Joni <laughs> might say yes. No. I don't think so. <laughs> I think you kept the perfect amount. So that was a wrap on Joni, Kit, and Devin. So organization, a chick. Let's do it. Yes, 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 that was three high fives in a row. We didn't talk about that beforehand, that was unplanned. So to top off our closet redo, we pushed Tyler's old bureau into the guest room and went out to get a couple of decorative items to spruce up the rest of our room, just to make it feel a little less only functional and a little more fun. Oh, and also we got a plant. And with that, our bedroom mini makeover was done. So let's take a look at our new closet and bedroom situation. Starting with my walk-in closet through the bathroom. So in here we have all of my tops, jackets, tunics, dresses, and skirts, all divided and labeled. I feel like the setup is somewhat similar, as in like most things are hanging still, but the decreased quantity of clothes like definitely gives me more space to see stuff. You know what I mean? I feel like there are fewer clothes like that have fallen through the cracks of other clothes. Obviously, we also have our fun baskets up here, and then I've got an empty one for a little room for growth. I don't know what's gonna go up there, but it's gonna be exciting when I figure out what will. So next up for my stuff is this unit over here, which is very different inside than it was before. Down here, we have all of my pants and shorts, and then in the middle, we have a little surprise new jewelry display. Joni and Kit had noticed that I previously had some jewelry like hiding in my closet, so we thought it would be a good idea to put it out here so I could actually 
see it. And then up top, we have a bunch of boxes for our toiletry cases, other bags, and things we have to take like to our office. This cabinet here is also very different now. I've got workout tops up here, and then I've got sports bras, full length yoga pants, cropped yoga pants, and gym shorts. The rest of my clothes are now in our one shared dresser. And in here, I've got my decluttered bras, my tights and spanks, my undies. Right here, I've got sweatpants. And to finish off my clothes, we've got my PJs. As you can see, the proud to be nerdy and a little flirty shirt did make it in. Oh yeah. And of course, how could we forget about our communal sock drawers, plural. So I feel like that's a good transition to Tyler's stuff, of which most of his bottoms are in here. He has definitely seriously decluttered his pants. I have like three pants left. And besides that, he's got his impressive boxer collection. And then under that, we've got shorts, joggers and sweatpants, and more joggers and sweatpants. And then down here, of course, we have his fancy hamper. Oh, I love when the drawers catch themselves like at the end, that's fancy. And then to finish off the clothes, we've got Tyler's closet over here, which no longer has a door. And in here, he's basically just got all of his tops, short sleeve, long sleeve, sweatshirts, buttoned shirts, and then like a couple jackets in the back. Besides all that, we do have a few extra things that we've added to the room to make it more fun. Starting with my new hamper that Practically Perfect helped us find. It's a giant divided hamper on wheels, which seems intense, but I think it's what I need. Besides that, we also have some new wall hangers a new chair, some fun throw pillows, including this triangular one, a new rug, and our fiddle leaf fig plant. It's called a fiddle leaf fig, not a fiddly fig. I thought it was fiddly fig, but it's not. It is also real, so we're gonna keep that thing alive. Yes, we are gonna water it when it's supposed to be watered. So all that is our new bedroom. I'm really happy with how we've redone our closets because I feel like everything makes a lot more sense. And in terms of the decor, it might not be like a true Mr. Kate makeover, but you know, we added some things here and there just to make it feel a little more homey. Also, if you are wondering if I'm wearing the same thing that I've been wearing for days, the answer is yes. <laughs> I wanted to wait to film this before I started taking clothes out of their places. Yes. Okay. So that was getting our closets professionally organized. I'm definitely very pleased with the final product of all of our work this week, and it is actually a weight off of my shoulders to think about how much we ended up decluttering. I mean, we took bags and bags of stuff to be donated. And as a final inventory, not only did we greatly reduce the barnacle that was my wardrobe, but we were also able to move an entire bureau out of our room and fit everything into our remaining furniture pieces with room to spare. And it is also file folded to the heavens, which is very sexy. Christine might be a holosexual, but I think I'm a condosexual. Now, in terms of the professional organizer aspect of our closet makeover, I would say that anyone could probably declutter on their own at home, even though Practically Perfect's traveling rod was very impressive. But I found that there was a real benefit to having them reconfigure our closets and drawers and teach us how to display things differently differently so we can actually find more of our stuff. I guess I could have figured out the file fold on my own, but I'm not sure if I would have figured out how to optimize these giant mirrored thingies without their help. I think after this experience, now that the floodgates have been opened on the clothes in general, next up, I'm probably gonna wanna declutter some of our prop clothing. I kind of want to sort through it all and then have like a giant yard sale for it, except for the wish stuff. I won't charge anyone for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, a big thank you to Practically Perfect for helping us declutter and organize. You can check out their Instagram in the description below. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. Here are my social media handles and a big shout out to Oresta for watching. Thanks for watching Oresta, and I will see you guys a next time.